Season of Discovery Phase 2 is almost upon us, and I want to look at what is best in slot for us warriors, including for protection and DPS. So this is going to be a preliminary guide, meaning that things could technically change, and I am going to be simming and testing all of this properly once the patch actually launches, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my updated version, including biz and pre-biz. But I just couldn't wait any longer. Let's actually have a look at what we've got. Um what we've got going for us really so starting off with dps then we've got the tempered interference negating helmet on our head this is going to be requiring blacksmithing i do think there's going to be um i think i've confirmed there's going to be a quest line regarding this same as it was in phase one blacksmithing is clearly the way to go for us warriors that kind of goes without saying second one probably going to be engineering or enchanting in my opinion but i'll do a full class guide so again don't make sure make sure not to miss that um this is going to increase our chance to get crits by 1%. And when we use it, this is on a 10 minute cooldown, we can actually uh, reduce our movement speed by 20%, but also increase our spell resistances to all schools by 50 and increase melee attack speed by 20% for 10 seconds. I think this is actually really, really good. Unfortunately, it does look like this on top of our head. And now that I've just looked, I'm going to move myself to over here so I'm not in the way. Um, going on to the neck piece, we've got the Nomagan Peace Officer's Talk. Pretty simple, really, and a lot of these items are going to be offering the same sort of thing. As you can see here, basic attack power increase and increasing our crit chance. There's a lot of crit chance increasing by 1% on each piece and a lot of hit chance increasing as well, which is really nice to see because... As we're getting to high levels as well, we do want to start trying to at least get towards that hit cap. Trog Slayer Pauldrons on our shoulders, again to 2022 20, attack power with some agility and intellect on there. I do wish they had made something a bit better. It's a bit all over the place. I do feel it's a bit lazy. Um, the reason I'm not taking the machined... Um, is it machined? Machined? Alloy shoulder plates, which actually do have 12 strength and 11 stamina on them is because of the 22 attack power on here now of course again i will be simming to make sure we know for sure however i do think the trog slayers with that attack power is going to be better overall but you know the choice is yours obviously the patch isn't even out yet we've got the drape of the dismantling on our back and then for the chest plate, we're going to go with the electromagnetic set. And this is actually quite cool. Again, increasing that crit by 1%, 26 attack power, some basic stats. Again, stamina, intellect, you know. But it is going to give us on the two and three set bonus, 24 attack power for two. And then on the three, our attacks have a 5% chance of restoring mana, which again, isn't really that great for us warriors. However, again, the same thing. We've got 17 strength on here on this one. And we miss out, well, yes, it has the crit chance still, if you, get, if you go for the insulated, which is leather, because the only plate one that I'm aware of is this one, which is more defense, um, although it does give 16 attack power on the two set. So uh, the defense one could actually be better. It's, it's quite interesting. Um, but I'm going for this so far. 26 attack power on there, another 24 on the set bonus, and then ignoring the mana. Um, again, the only other one would be having some strength, and we'd get... 20 attack power only if we're in cat bear and dire bear form so that 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 bottom free set we're not going to get that anyway even if we used it because we're not a druid so i really do think it's going to be the male item here but it does annoy me they've put on some strange stats on here um obviously it's not strange for classic that's actually kind of what we're used to however they have actually changed a lot of the dungeon loot if you weren't already aware for people like um casters mages priests druids and therefore why couldn't they do it for warriors in the raid i just think it's a bit lazy um but hey ho maybe you guys disagree let me know in the comments that's you know that's fine if you do going then down um onto the braces or the wrists we've just got these basic experimental aim stabilizers assuming we're going for two hand firma plugs rocket cleaver at a uh, pretty much 29 strength you know amazing there um there is also the sanguine crusher which we could be getting which is going to increase our crit again by one percent and give us 18 strength for 12 stamina so this is from the blood moon and that's the new pvp event in stranglethorn vale the rewards from this for all classes are pretty nice to be fair i've looked at quite a lot of them so far and i'm really really excited for this because i feel like in phase one it was like yeah we get the sergeant's cloak things like that but in phase two like we're getting some really awesome pvp gear on the gloves then, we've got the Machinist's Gloves. Um, pretty standard, apart from one thing. The equip bonus is giving you plus 30 attack power when fighting mechanical units. 
Mechanon, hello, Mechanon? Gnomagon, we're not going to Mechanon. Um, but, but if we were, these would also be great. So, you know, if we go Season of Discovery, BFA, Mechanon, then woohoo for us. But right now we're not, so let's keep on topic, please. Um, yeah, 30 attack power when fighting mechanical units, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, Dark Vision Girdle, um, pretty nice. Again, stamina, intellect, 24 attack power, blah, blah, blah. Electromagnetic courses. These, again, are the two electromagnetic set pieces which we're going for, and we're going to get the whole free set. There's a new um, unique equipped, which is on our ring this time, rather than the trinket, which was the Avengers Void Pearls, which I am going to take. And these rings, you can have one of each. I always say you should get the Devastation for DPS Warriors, Strength, Agility, Stamina, and some resistances on there. The other ring, you can just stay with your PvP ring from Phase 1. Uh, Avengers Void Pearl from Phase 1 as well, staying from the trinkets. If you don't actually know how to get this, when you kill Akame in BFD, which you should still be doing, by the way, because it's going to give you a absolute ton of experience. Um, me and my guild, we're still going to be running BFD for all that experience on leveling up. Um, so if you haven't got it already, you can still have a good chance of getting that Avengers Void Pearl. And then we've got the Gyromatic Experiment 420B. Again, adding 18 attack power and increasing attack speed by 5%. But you may be able to push this experiment further. What does that mean? I do not know. Maybe you do, but I do not. Um, and then we've got the monolithic bow in the range slot with some strength and agility. Yeehaw, we're all done. Um, let's go on to tanking then. You can see actually quite a lot of it is changing. When I was doing my paladin video, um, it was a bit boring really. Rat and um, protection wasn't really much happening. Um, but we have actually got a good amount of change here. So staying true with the blacksmithing helmet, we're going to go for the justice badge. I feel like this is like a, a meme to something, like the Avengers or something, but I don't know if I'm just making that up in my head. Um, increasing our chance to dodge an attack by 1% increasing defense. Machined alloy shoulder plate still. Um, then we're going for the prototype parachute cloak on the back, reducing our full speed. You could also go for the coagulated cloak um, here. It really doesn't matter, um, or the drape of dismantling, that there's a few options really. Again, I'm going to have to sim that when we can. We're going to go for the hazard breastplate set, increasing defense, attack power, and um, chance to hit by 1% there on the 2 and 3 set. Remember, we can enchant this to 50 health as well, which you can see on this item here. 11 strength, agility, and stamina. This is really, really nice for us warrior tanks. Berserker braces are from the Warsong Outriders, so I believe we can only get these as Horde. It doesn't look like there's a Alliance equivalent. Um, if you are Alliance, then I'll just go for the first Sergeant's Plate Braces, which I think are both. Um, and there's these ones as well, the Sergeant Majors. So there's a few there's a few options. The Berserker's Braces, if you can get Exalted with the Warsong Outriders, if you want to grind that much PvP, are going to be really good. Going on to weapons then, it's the Oscillating Blash Power, um, <laughs> which is interesting. Or there is the Ardent Custodian. Again, I'm using this on um, Paladin. It's a really expensive world drop. So whether we're going to be seeing this or not, um, well, we'll we'll see. Um, it's going to be interesting. Otherwise, there's things like the Nordic Longshank um, or the one I've chosen, the Oscillating Blast, Blast Hammer, um, which, you know, is again from Nomagon. We've got the Whirling True Silver Gear Wall for the offhand shield, increasing chance to block by 1%. However, it is actually going to swirl out some razor blades, shearing both you and your attacker um, on a quip. So it can actually do some damage to, to you and them. Um, we've got the Grubbish Grubby Grubbity Grub Grub Gauntlets on our hands, uh, increasing our chance to get a crit again. With this, you could still go with the... Um, what were the other ones? The ones I showed you earlier. Those ones <laughs> that had the, the attack power. I think that could still be um, really useful. The machinist gloves, they are leather, but you know, um, the attack power is unparalleled. Belt of the Trog Destroyer for 17 strength on there on the belt. Again, hazard on legs and booties. And then it's going to be the Devastation Ring again on there. And same again with the other ring, the PvP one. There is Wordle's Hardened Core, which is a fantastic trinket. The hardest core, as it says, increases armor by 1,000, but movement speed is reduced by 60%. Can't happen. Um, sorry, effect cannot, effect cannot be removed and last for 10 seconds. 30 min cooldown, which means really you're going to be using it like, what, once per raid, twice per raid? I don't know how long... Um, it's going to be my guild near the end of it. We're clearing BFD at like 20, 30 minutes now. It's getting crazy. Um, so, you know, probably saving this maybe for the last boss. We're not sure. Um, and then again, 1% increased chance to dodge. Smot's Compass again with an equip increasing further dodge chance on another trinket. And there's an Outrunner's Bow with some stamina and agility on it. 
um, for for the bow. Um, yeah, so this is the preliminary guides. So like I said, I'm going to be doing guides for the release once I've simmed it, and I'm going to look at pre-biz. I, I've got a hell of a lot of work to do for pre-biz. You know, I'm looking through quest rewards, dungeon rewards, all these changes, absolutely everything. So I'm going to try and get you a, a really quick, fantastic guide once we once we launch. If you guys have any questions at all, by the way, about the gear, class questions, rotations, retail, classic, add-on, UI, if there's anything you need at all, please do join my Discord where I can help you out. I'll help you set up anything you need, etc. And if you want to even go another step further and support me so that I can release more of these fun videos for you guys, well, hopefully you find them fun, um, then do consider becoming a Patreon or YouTube member, which you can do down below, which gets you a gazillion more benefits as well. Again, those are outlined in my Discord and when you click to subscribe. So I hope you are as excited for Phase 2 as I am, and I will see you in phase two <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and click that like button and let me know your thoughts below